Bobby people I'm back with another video and today I'm super excited because I'm gonna be swatching some nail supplies from Timu um, in case you all um, have not already seen I do have a recent uh, Timu nail supply haul I'm gonna leave the link for that haul um, in the description box so that if you guys want to check it out you can but yeah Timu is kind of like a mix between Shein and AliExpress and um, almost like an Amazon marketplace as well but yeah they got really affordable products and I had the opportunity to purchase some of their nail products so let's see how they work so I do have these particular nail polishes um, from Timu so I'm going to go ahead and swatch all of them out and then I also have a couple of acrylics and uh, builder gels that I'll be swatching as well in this video so definitely stay tuned. The first item I'm going to be swatching is this gel polish from Miss Cheering and it's in the color 5-3. So yeah, oof, this is a really pretty like pearly um, pearly white color with a really beautiful gold shift to it so let's see how this performs. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Nice formula. Not too thin, not too thick. Easy to apply. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cure that. The next item I'm going to be swatching is another gel polish from the same brand, Miss Cheering. It's in Chinese, but um, I'll link down below what color it is. But it's this really beautiful black. I think it's like a hollow cat eye situation. Mm, that's pretty as well. Yeah, I like the formula of these mysterious polishes. They feel really nice. Yeah. Yeah, that ain't bad for like a buck or two. That's not bad at all. But let's see if it's actually cat eye. I do have my little magnet here. Let's see. Yep, it is. So you can see it's a cat eye polish. That's pretty cool. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and cure. Next, I have this uh, gel polish from Roniki. And it's in color AM039. Very nice. Yep, just a really nice standard um, chunky gold glitter. It is really thick though, but it still applies well. And last but not least is this really cool. I still I'm in love with the bottle, um, but it's by Sweet Nails and it's in the color C17. Yeah, one of the things I like about this is the brush. You all see how it's kind of curved? Oh, yeah. Very opaque, okay. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Well, not super opaque. It's opaque enough, though. You definitely need two coats, but it's pretty nice for, like, an affordable polish. It self-levels nicely. I'll take it. Look at that. Okay, I'll go ahead and cure Next, I do have some builder gel, so I'm going to swatch these out really quick. So, I'm going to start off with the clear, I guess. I think I'm going to go ahead and go in with Lissette's Gel Nails, brush in number four. So, we'll take a look at the consistency here. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the product. It is a little bit of a looser builder gel, for sure, but I'm going to go ahead and put a slip layer down first. This is how much I have on my brush. Okay, put my slip layer down. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Do one more. It looks pretty clear though. I'm being ex I'm gonna be really excited if this clears if this cures clear because it's looking really clear right now, right? But I hope it doesn't have any yellowing, so we'll we'll know the real test once I actually cure it in the lamp but I'm gonna take another bead here and just try to build up um, a little bit of the product here just to see how it actually works That's that. I'm going to go ahead and cure for 60. And the next color here is the nude pink, which is 04.
So before I add top coat onto the clear, y'all, this is the Builder Gel. This is the clear Builder Gel. Look how clear that is. I'm actually really impressed with this. I'm actually really impressed. I'm gonna add top coat to it, but it's clear, clear. No yellowing at all. Very, very impressed. Very, very impressed, okay? This is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and top coat everything and I'll be back. I'm actually gonna go ahead and try this top coat out from um, this three piece kit that I got from Timu. And it has a nail prep dehydrator and then a shiny top coat. So, that came in the kit. Again, I do have a full unboxing of all the products that I got from Timu, but um, I wanna go ahead and try this glossy top coat to see how glossy it really is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on this clear builder gel here. See how it works. Okay, pretty nice, pretty nice. I like that it has a clear brush. and cure that this is what all of the gel polishes look like swatched out this is them swatched out um, so these two are the builder gels I'm really excited to see that even that clear builder gel is still clear after the top coat was applied so that was really exciting to see um, and then these are the different gel polishes that I tried out I like the formula of everything the builder gels were a little bit on the looser side than what I'm used to but still easy enough to work with um, the only gel polish that I was kind of hesitant about was this glitter one I mean as you all can see it swatched very very beautifully um, but it was a little bit thick and goopy um, but yeah overall I think that the gel products from Timu are really good they're decent quality and for the price I mean, you really can't beat it. So, yeah, I'm going to leave everything linked down in the description box below. But these polishers are really, really pretty. I like the variety that I chose. Um, you know, it's like polishes I don't really have in my collection. But, yeah, so these are all the gel products I got from Timu. Now I'm going to go ahead and swatch the acrylics, okay? I'm going to go ahead and use my monomer from Young Nails for swatching. I have my dappin' dish here, my favorite dappin' dish. I'm also going to go in with my Young Nails Artistic Sculptor Acrylic Brush for swatching. These are all the acrylics I got from Timu, so these are the ones I'll be swatching out today in addition to this one here. So let's get into it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start with just um, this o, O's Nail Mall Acrylic. And let's see how it swatches out. I'm going to saturate my brush, tap, tap, tap. And I'm going to bounce into the acrylic three times. One, two, three, pick up a bead. And this is how it sets up. Okay. Not bad. This seems like it cured really fast, so that's something to know. Interesting. It kind of sets up fast and slow at the same time. I'm not mad at it. Yeah, that's a decent enough swatch for me, eh? Yeah, I actually like it. Yeah, I actually like it, so I'm going to let that set. Next color I'm going to try is HS6. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up my bead. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oops, that didn't work. <laughs> let me go ahead and top this off. Oh, this feels chalky. Sad face. Yeah, I don't know if you all can see here on my paper towel. This just seems like it's really chalky, which is kind of sad for me. I don't know. Maybe I didn't pick it up right. 
I'll give it another go here, but maybe my bead was too dry. I don't know, but looking kind of chalky. We'll see if we can redeem it here. Let's try that again. I'll leave more monomer in my brush this time. Tap, tap, tap. Pick up. Yeah, looking a little chalky to me, y'all. Okay, it's interesting. It just kind of stays where you put it at. This one. It doesn't really set up all that good. This looks really chalky. Yeah. It's okay, but it's definitely not my favorite. It's crazy. I actually like the other acrylic better. From the OS Nail Mall. That one seems to kind of set up a little bit better. But we have it here. Yeah, so that's how that looks. And then the last one here from the last solid color is the HS3. these y'all the color is really pretty I like the color of this one The next one here is number nine, which is this really pretty peachy glitter. This is absolutely gorgeous. I still love this this um, this color here. So hopefully these aren't these aren't as chalk, chalky as the other ones here. So I'm gonna tap tap and then pick up a bead. Okay, I really like the formula of this one. You can already see immediately that it's different. It. Um, yeah, it moves a lot easier. It's not chalky like the other one, which is weird because typically when you're dealing with chalky glitters, um, like they tend to be harder to work with, but this one's definitely easier. Yeah, I like these. So if I had to pick between solid colors and glitters, I would say definitely go with the glitters from this brand because y'all see how easy I was able to get that swatch? And boom, she done. So yeah. You still got time to work with it and then boom she done so yeah I like this one I like the glitters a lot that's nice last but not least is this really beautiful yellow it's number one but y'all know yellow is my favorite color so it's very fitting and let's get this swatched out if it swatches like this last color I'm gonna absolutely love this I mean wow look at this y'all can't get enough of it this is how it sets up so pretty beautiful. You see how easy that is to work with? Yeah, I like this one a lot. I don't know what's different about these two formulas, but the glitters definitely are easier to work with. This is what all of the acrylics look like swashed out. Um, overall, I think my favorite acrylics were definitely the glitter ones. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, these two, like the solid colored um, acrylics, 
um, from this brand I'm not really a fan of they're kind of chalky and even you know you can on here you can see where I actually laid the second bead down um, but I did really like this acrylic here from OS Nail Mall so I mean it seems like the acrylics are maybe kind of like hit or miss um, I do want to flip them over too so you all can see what they would look like shiny um, so this is what they would look like shiny again absolutely loving these glitters though can we take a moment I would definitely get this whole line of glitters absolutely beautiful um, but yeah overall the acrylics are decent um, so yeah, let me know what you all think about this video. Overall, I do like the products from um, Timu. Um, gel polishes, overall, I like. And then the acrylic slash dip powders are hit or miss. I would say, even with these solid color ones, they're probably better off being used as dip powders than they would be being used as acrylics. Um, and so yeah, let me know, have you all tried any of the nail products from Timu as far as the gels, builder gels, poly gels, um, acrylics, dip powders, etc., nail glues. Um, um, and what's been your experience with them um, so yeah they're definitely worth giving a try um, I do have a discount code with Timu I'm going to leave that here on the screen as well as in the description box below all the products that I used in today's video is also going to be linked down in the description box below I definitely think they're worth giving a try the products there are very affordable and I'm also hoping to to maybe try some of the other products they offer make like maybe some of their clothing their accessories maybe their shoes even some of their perfumes I saw that they have uh, dupes for luxury perfumes let me know if you guys want to see that you all know I used to do body care hygiene on my channel so I would love to kind of see what Timu has um, but yeah I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I'll tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if y'all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye